Okay, guys, look real quick. I got a call from my neighbor. We're about to go check, and uh, she says she's got a snake on her patio, so we're going to go look at it. But look, on the way, we found a beautiful American green tree frog. Look how pretty this little dude is. I'm going to feature another video of a different kind of tree frog on Thursday. And just for a comparison, you can see what this frog looks like right now. So when you see the other one, you can see how different they look. These are gorgeous little guys. They're green and they got some of the, this one's got little yellow dots on his back and some spots. Um, on these American tree frogs, that yellow is randomized. But remember, it's, it is it is a frog and you can tell because of these huge back legs, it's one definite sign. These legs allow it to have a lot of power when it jumps and it can jump very high. Also, it's got these little sticky pads on the bottom of their finger and they'll stick to a lot of surfaces. They're very sticky because they're normally arboreal. They live up in trees and off the ground. That's why they get the name tree frog. And of course, it's nighttime, so they're extremely active uh, as nocturnal animals, okay? Okay, guys, here's the little tree frog. Uh, we were walking on this bridge and this is where we found him. So I'm just gonna leave him here. He was hunting here and apparently this is the spot he wanted to be in, so he'll just hang out here. And look what I have here. I have a broad banded water snake. I already featured one of these guys in, in a previous video and I called it a fire snake because look at these markings on it. It looks just like he has fire lines on him. He's a non-venomous snake, that's why I'm handling him. And he's actually one of my absolute favorite snakes because of this coloration. Look how gorgeous this little guy is. And now they're very small when they're born, so this is a very young snake. I'd say if you're just born probably uh, maybe six months ago. So uh, not a very old snake, but uh, these guys, like I said, non-venomous. You can see the uh, round pupils and the shape of its head. The, those are signs that it's non-venomous. And um, they swim in the water. They got these killed scales. You can see the cool uh, killed scales mean they got a line down the middle of their scales, which most water snakes do. You can also see water snakes tend to have these bands on their lips, these lines that go up and down. And that, that, that's usually the sign of a water snake. And anyway, we're going to take this little guy home and show you him in the light, but we want to show you him right now. And you can hear all the sounds around me, all the frogs and the animals and stuff out here croaking and making noise, singing by the lake. But I want to show you him right now so you can see how beautiful this snake was as soon as we caught it. Okay, so we'll be back in just a minute with some more footage. Hey guys, okay, well look, we changed our minds. Since we're down by the water anyway, and we looked at the footage, and it looks like you can actually get a pretty good view of the snake, despite the fact that it's dark out here, we're gonna go ahead and turn him free right now. But before we do, I wanna give a shout out to somebody. Uh, our the video we just featured a few days ago had a big snake in it we caught, and we made it a challenge to see if you, my viewers, could figure out what kind of snake it was based on all the facts. And uh, this one individual did get it right, and I told y'all I'd give him a shout out on my channel. So, uh, Smet Logic Herping, good job of identifying the snake. It was what we used to call a black rat snake or now a western rat snake. It was in my other video and I'll show a picture of that real quick. Okay, so that's the one and you won the thing. So congratulations. Uh, uh, I'll put your uh, information uh, link to this guy's YouTube channel down in my uh, section down below where y'all can go visit his page. Thank you for participating in this. All right, so we're going to head down to the water and turn him free. But before we did, we just want to tell you these Warm nights before the summer are the absolute best. Tonight we've already seen an armadillo, a bunch of gar, two diamondback water snakes, a bunch of narrow mouth toads, a gray tree frog. We've seen all kinds of animals tonight. So uh, it's just, for me, it's heaven. I love being out here and here. And like I said, you can hear it all around us. Okay, all right, so we'll see you down by the water in just a second. Okay guys, we're down here by the water. Got the broad banded water snake right here, and we're going to turn him free right here. Like I said in so many videos, I always say keep it wild. I am going to turn this free snake free and keep him wild, okay? So here he goes. Oh, if y'all look right here, before we do this, just look, check right here in the water. There's a leech swimming right there. It looks like a snake when they're all stretched out like that, but that is a blood-sucking leech right there. And uh, they, it will get out on the land. Look, it's getting up in the dry part right here. Uh, the snake, fortunately, it won't mess with the snake because the snake's going to haul butt, but... Okay, here we go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful snake. I'm gonna scare him out. Make sure he gets over here into the grass. There he goes. All right, guys. Well, another awesome find. Appreciate y'all watching. Oh, and there's one other snake too. If y'all can look right over here, I don't know if you can still see him. There's a baby diamondback water snake right over here. We just saw him in the grass. 
Now, diamondback water snakes are the most typical, most common water snakes we see. We see one almost every night, if not two or three. We've already this will be the third one we've already seen tonight. Uh, I can't see it now. It already moved on since we've been here. But anyway, all right. So thank you for watching. As I always say, keep it wild. Okay, guys, I told you earlier we went to go find that snake on my uh, neighbor's patio, and I'm very thankful that she called me. I'm glad that I was able to help with that snake. So I did want to give a shout-out to Lori for allowing me to come over to her house and get that snake. So thanks, Lori.